Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining our session today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Daryl Green. I'm the Technical Sales Manager for Microchannel. Today, we're going to learn how you can process credit card payments efficiently and accurately inside Business One. We're going to be joined by Nama from Boyum IT in Denmark. And my apologies in advance if we have any audio glitches. Uh, following the presentation, we're going to have a Q&A session and you can put your questions into the chat box on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, until then, I'm going to hand over to Nama. Many customers have a margin account for taking payments via the credit card. However, this system or process is totally separate from the transactions in SAP Business One. So, a typical scenario, a customer calls and wants to place an order and prepay. Sales representative enter the order in SAP Business One and then gather the customer credit card information. Then later the day, they either process this credit card transaction through a merchant website or through a terminal sitting on someone's desk in accounting. Once the payment has been approved and authorized, the sales representative can add the payment then to the order or the accounting department enters the payment through the cash receipt window and all those multiple steps add no value and those are steps that can be missed if the payment is declined or incorrect credit card number is used and the customer order is delayed due to denied transaction. Now imagine having your sales representative enter orders and process the credit card payments in SAP Business One. Once the credit card is authorized and approved, then the order is ready to be fulfilled and shipped. Sounds like a dream. The B1I payment is fully integrated into SAP Business One and allows users to enter electronic transaction directly in their sales module and have those payments verified via the web without leaving SAP Business One environment. B1I payment integrates with each of the main sales models. Electronic transactions can be processed individually in real-time mode or saved to a batch for efficient bulk processing. B1I payment interfaced with multiple payment gateways like Secure Trading and Authorize.net. Those are all fully PCI compliant and the transaction processing is fast, secure and reliable. The best thing customers like about the solution is that it's fully integrated into SAP, saving several hours per day in processing credit cards and posting payments with just a few clicks. We also provide an easy online sign-up for merchant accounts with favorable rates via the Boyum IT Secure Trading Portal. So let's see how it works in SAP Business One. We're going to start by displaying a bit the configuration screen and then going into process a payment in SAP Business One. So we're going to go into administration, add-ons, B1I payment and configuration. The configuration of this model is very simple and I'm going to focus on two main steps, the authorization step and the settlement step. The authorization step is where you get the credit card information and secure the amount that later you're going to be paying during the settlement. So we can decide where we want to do the authorization, where would we like to secure the amount on the credit card. We chose in our demo environment to do it in the sales orders and where we're going to get the authorization pop-up. We can do, of course, and we can choose any other option. We also have the option to add markups if you have a shipping expense or a credit card fee, and we can allow those markup at the authorization step. The settlement step is where you actually get the payment, and we chose to do the automatic settlement at the AR invoice stage. We can, of course, choose any other option or multiple options. And as I mentioned before in the presentation, we do have the option to choose between one of the gate gateways, which is secure trading, or authorize.net. Okay, so now that we know how the system is configured, let's go into an order and start the process. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, choose the customer. When we go into the customer card, into the payment terms, then we basically disregard the credit card information that we see in here. For those of you that have B1 usability package, you can just choose to hide this item 
and just ignore those fields. They're not relevant for the B1I payment. What we actually want to see is the credit card details that we have in that additional button. So for example, we can see here that this customer already has a credit card information. If he wants to add another credit card, or he would like to pay with a separate one, or maybe just to split the payment, which is also possible with the B1I payment, then he has two options to add a credit card. One of the options is that we will do it for him. We're gonna click on the add and go into the secure trading. That's the demo environment that I have today with secure trading. And I can choose here any card type, for example, Visa, and enter the credit card information. Once I save the information, click on refresh, and I'm going to get the additional line in the credit card window. Another option which is required by some customers that do not want to share their credit card information over the phone, then we can of course copy the same link into a clipboard and paste it into an email where we can send it directly to the customers. And if we're using the B1 print and delivery, then we can add here another button to send the email directly from this window to the customer. And once it's done, we can refresh the credit card screen by clicking on the refresh and we will get the additional card that the customer has entered. So now that we have the credit card information, of course, we can perform an account check to make sure that the credit card details that we have are valid. Okay, so we're back into the sales order. Now we're going to add an item to enter the date and our mandatory field information. And now when we're ready to place the order, we're just going to click on the add. Once we click on the add, if you remember, we said that the credit card authorization where we secure the payment is being done at the sales order stage. So over here, what we can see is, of course, the document that we authorized by. So that's the sales order. We can see the customer. If we're using a payment consolidation, if we do have a business partner who is a payment consolidation for Noam Thompson, then his details would appear here and the credit card information would belong to him. Now we can see the amount from the sales order to authorize. We can choose here between the cards. And of course, from here, we can go ahead and add another credit card information if we wish. We do not have to go to the business partner only. And if we had a few credit cards, then of course, we can split them. Once we were OK, then we can click on the authorize. When we click on the authorize and go back into the last sales order, we can see that it has been authorized. That's the sales order we've just created. And in the iPayment, I can see that this authorization has been authorized. I can see the document that is been authorized at and the authorization date and the expiration. In secure trading, you're given seven days for the authorization, meaning that after that date, that amount will no longer be hold with the credit card and will be released back to the card. And you would have to reauthorize the payment. If you at any point in time choose to cancel this sales order, then of course the authorization would be switched to void and the amount will be released back to the card. So now let's go into the delivery stage and click on add. Again, going back to the delivery into the iPayment, we can see the authorization coming from the sales order with the same information that we had. So now when we're going to copy that to an AR invoice, and again, we don't want to change anything. We can just click on the add. Then what's going to happen at this stage is that if we go back into the error invoice, we can see that the iPayment status has changed to settled. And if we go into the iPayment tab, we can see the settlement was done in the error invoice. And we also have an automatic incoming payment that was created. So when we're clicking on the incoming payment, 
and on the payment means we can see the credit card information customers has paid with and also we can see all that information is encrypt so we can just see some of the details of the credit card but again those are being the full details are being held with secure trading if we would like to cancel the air invoice let's say that the customer would like a refund then what we can do is come into the air invoice and click on refund now that's another function of the i payment and the credit note will be automatically created in the system and we can just click on the add and again when we go back into the i payment we can see the void transaction of that settlement that was done in the air invoice and if we're going into the original air invoice we can see that it was refunded okay so we can see those details that have been voided and refunded back to the customer so all this process is really tied in and is very simple to use and you don't have to leave SAP business one you don't have to uh, be sure that you got the information right you can verify the credit card information you can have the customer fill in his own credit card information and all that to be done within sap business one if you want to see how the b1i payment works in less than five minutes you can simply install the add-on and start testing you do not need to sign up for a merchant account you simply need to go into that link request a free trial so i'm just going to go ahead with you click on try it for free enter your details and download the software you do get a 20 days free trial if you do have any other question of course you can always contact us at sales at boyo-it.com or contact your partner thank you very much and have a great day